Next up, we have pre-recorded talk. Uh, it's from Bartolome Hirsch. Uh, it's about analyzing your code like a true detective. Let's enjoy the talk. Hi everyone, my name is Bartomi Hirsch and uh, I'm author of several open source projects in Robot Framework ecosystem, such as Robotidy and Robocop and Sherlock. And this talk is uh, analyze your code like true detective. Since me and Mateusz created Robocop one and a half year ago, one of the most popular requests was to show keywords and resources that are not used. And there were similar requests that also required not only to uh, parse the code and its structure, but also evaluate imports, values, and flow between the code. It's not possible in Robocop, at least without redesigning it from the scratch, uh, since we are focusing on the static analysis. Uh, that's why we shut down those requests um, in our GitHub project. Uh, but still, we wanted to have those features somewhere. That's why I created a new tool named Sherlock. I think the name gives it a bit, uh, but the shadow goal is to analyze and find any issues in your code. And it does include the information if the given resource or keyword is used somewhere, uh, or if your code is overly complicated, measured by makeup algorithm. Uh, it can also gather timings from your executions and so on. The Sherlock is still under development, but the most main features are complete and now I mostly focus on the user experience part. For example, uh, creating uh, clear and uh, nice reports for the users. But before I begin, uh, the development of Sherlock wouldn't be possible if not the support of the Robot Framework Foundation, uh, which announced last year that it's planning to fund new ideas uh, in the Robot Framework ecosystem or support development in already existing projects. I have proposed, uh, together with Mateusz Nojek, uh, two projects, Sherlock and Roboswag, uh, also shown in the other talk, and we were accepted, and our work was funded by Robot Framework Foundation. Okay, I will show you several examples uh, of, of the code in the Robot Framework, various edge cases, and how Sherlock is able to analyze it. Just one note uh, at the beginning, uh, when I was creating the design, uh, I wanted Sherlock to work only using the source code. And it's possible, uh, but I noticed that if I want to have it most accurate results, uh, it's best to also use output of the test execution. So I will run the examples with Robot Framework and use its output to enhance Sherlock findings. I will begin with the uh, simple example where we have just one uh, test case file and one resource file. In the test case file, uh, suite file, we have the settings section where we are importing uh, some of the keywords, uh, test cases, and keywords uh, defined internally in the suite. And these cases are using uh, internal keywords from this file and external keywords uh, defined in the resource file. We have also uh, the ambig ambiguous name uh, keyword, which uh, is either taken from the suite or uh, from the external resource if specified with the uh, prefix. I will start by running this example using a uh, robot framework. And let's see uh, what's the output. So uh, it co the suite contains just uh, two, uh, two test cases and one with the internal keyword and external keyword uh, with the lock uh, steps inside and one uh, simple for loop. So now let's see what uh, Sherlock will uh, output using this uh, log file. So uh, let's go to the PyCharm and let's try to run the tool. Uh, of course, I first I need to learn how to use it so I can just run uh, Sherlock help. And we don't have that much of the options. Uh, you can basically run the Sherlock and point you, uh, it to the, your code repository. Then you can also optionally pass the output of your robot framework execution to enhance uh, the output of the Sherlock. So just let's try it. Uh, Sherlock output file and uh, the test repository. By default, uh, the print report is displayed and it displays the, the structure of your code uh, with the findings from the Sherlock. So we have the directory uh, one simple, 
which contains resource and suite. Resource contains two keywords, uh, external keyword and ambiguous name keyword. And ambiguous name is used, uh, execute five times uh, in the for loop. And it has the complexity of one and the average time or total time are just uh, zero since there is not much uh, time to be spent on. Same for the suite. Uh, we also have the internal keyword, which was executed just once, which, and also is a quite simple keyword. Okay, so let's move to the uh, more advanced uh, examples. Now something that wouldn't be possible in Robocop, uh, so dynamic analysis. Uh, we have the variable import uh, example, which contains suite that imports using the variable name and then use the keyword uh, from the imported resources. You have the two resources, dev resources and preport resources, which contains uh, the, uh, the keyword with the same name, but with the different implementation. So if I run it uh, in a robot, it will of course fail since the end variable doesn't exist and the import fails. So I can, I need to uh, actually supply the the value of the um, end variable and then run the test. Now it passed. So let's try to analyze the output with the uh, with the Sherlock. It didn't fail uh, since Sherlock can manage without the end variable but it didn't detect that the keywords were used at all. So we need to actually also supply the, uh, the variable value. Let's use the def. You can see that Sherlock was able to detect that the resource, uh, the def resource was used and the keyword was just executed once and the preprod resource was never used. Sherlock also supports uh, embedded variables, unlike Robocop. So in this case, we have one uh, definition of uh, keyword with embedded variable uh, with two execution of uh, such uh, keyword. So we can run the example and then uh, analyze it uh, in Sherlock. You can see that it found the definition of the keyword and also uh, noticed that it was executed twice. Sherlock also supports uh, libraries written in Python. In this case, we have two suites, uh, which both are using the local library, uh, my library, uh, which contains uh, two keywords. Uh, one is used by those two suites, uh, one is not used at all, and one is not actually a, a keyword. So let's, uh, let's run it, let's analyze it. You can see that it detected the library, my library, written in Python, and uh, my Python keyword uh, was executed four times, uh, but uh, other keyword not used uh, is detected as not used at all. One of the cool features is uh, possibility of also analyzing the external libraries. Uh, in this case, we have a suite that is using the Selenium library, and it's running some of the uh, its keywords. Uh, so we can uh, execute it. It will fail, that's fine, since we are not uh, calling the open browser keyword, but we can already, uh, we can already uh, analyze it. You can see that it didn't detect any keywords since we are not using the uh, keywords from uh, source, our source uh, repository. We need to also uh, specify that we want to analyze the external uh, resource called uh, Selenium library. So it read all keywords used uh, and available in uh, Selenium library and you also detect which uh, which keywords uh, from this list were used by us uh, by us in our suites in this case for example wait until page does not contain element was uh, used five times the tool also offers different type of outputs uh, for now uh, you just seen only print reports um, but 
uh, Sherlock offers also HTML and JSON reports. So let's run uh, the example and analyze it. So the structure of code is more complicated than before. It contains different resources, libraries, uh, suites, and it's not readable uh, in print format. That's why we can uh, generate HTML uh, report instead. So let's open it. It actually mimics how a uh, robot framework look, looks like, uh, but it shows uh, the structure of your source uh, code repository instead. In this case, we have the directories, libraries, resources, and uh, suites. Whenever there is any issue in your code, for example, uh, the keyword is not used, uh, or uh, the com complexity is over the threshold, or there are import errors, it will be shown uh, here and the status will be uh, propagated to uh, parent uh, nodes. And that's Sherlock. Uh, I just went over the most important features and, and the tool is still being developed. That's why I welcome you to just try it out.